Cái mắm xe hồi nãy mà mắm nước Thôi, bỏ vô ăn được không? Khéo quá Thai coffee, coffee latte. Thai coffee. Small for her. Um, how about number four? Coffee latte. Um, what do you think, Grandma? Want? Yeah, So um, today I went for a walk with my neighbor. At, once I got home, um, my daughter and I went to went to a restaurant to pick up some food to bring home to eat. Um, we went next door to the restaurant and get some some drinks um, for my girlfriend and for my mom. Um, then went to get gas. You know, so <clears throat> overall it was a pretty good day. I did have some um some moments of anxiety when I went f was when I was at home um when I went to the western one I, w I also had like a little moment of anxiety um I haven't went to that western one for I'd say about two years now so so it feels good I mean I have been around the area it's just that I haven't been inside that western one for about two years now um so me going inside a place that I haven't been to for like you know two years is feels kind of strange um so that's what gives me anxiety you know ha not going to a place that you haven't been to for so long um but oh well i did you know i i've been doing pretty good you know some sometimes i still have like moments where i'll feel like i'm gonna panic and then um what helps me is if i'm panicky and i'm in my room i I go out outside to my, I go out to my um, backyard or my front yard, you know, I'll allow myself to feel panicky outside because it helps, you know, um, when you are inside your comfort zone, you feel, sometimes you might even panic even more because, um, you know, you should feel safe and comfort in your safe zone, which most likely is your bedroom, but sometimes you feel more anxiety there is because you have nowhere else to run. You know, if you have nowhere else to run and then you're in your own bedroom, you're freaking out even more because you're allowing yourself to to freak out because, you know, most likely you don't want anyone outside your family to see you. You don't want your neighbors to see you freaking out. You don't want to see, like, relatives that you don't see too often. You don't want strangers to see you freaking out. So that's why sometimes you might feel more panicky in your own room. But <clears throat> but yeah, um, like I said, that's why you sometimes you might feel even more panicky when you're at home. You know, sometimes you might even feel more panicky, um, once you do a exposure. Like let's say you go somewhere for like. 
15 minutes and you haven't left your house for like months you know and you might feel fine when you leave your house but once you get home you might start feeling panicky it's because you're surprised that you left your house for so long you know um sometimes you don't want to panic outside because you don't want to embarrass yourself you don't want anyone to see you um, freaking out for no reason so you you hold it inside and then once you go home you let everything out you know you you could be screaming you could be freaking out but when you're outside you try your best to hold it in so so yeah that's basically um why sometimes you might freak out even more when you're home versus when you're outside you know when you're outside you try your best not to to um, freak out you know sometimes you might run into the bathroom you might run let's say if you're at the store the first thing you're gonna do you try to run out as, as quick as you can if you can't run out on town you try to run into a bathroom you try you try to run in the car and sit there you know uh, whatever and then the, if you're like just going for a walk let's say you're 10-15 minutes away from home and there's a park there. Sometimes you might run there and you don't see anyone. You just sit on the tree, lay on the tree and just like try to hide or whatever. You know, I, sometimes that's what I do too. When I feel panicked and I'm 10 minutes away, I I find like a, let's say a, <clears throat> a place where I can just sit. I find a place where I can just sit and then I'll just sit there. And there's times that I... I have the urge to run home and then I do run home and then the faster I run the faster my heart rate increase the faster my heart rate increase the more panicky I feel you know so sometimes um, when you feel a panic attack come in try to stay where you're at if you're in the comfort of your own house try to go outside try to have your panic attack in your front yard your backyard you know don't worry about what other people are going to think, uh, say or see. You know, sometimes you might even think they're looking at you, but they might not even be looking at you, you know. So, if you have a panic attack outside and you're, you're able to just let it happen inside your comfort zone, then you're going to, one day, you're going to realize that, you know, hey, I managed to have my panic attack, my panic attack outside and, um, I didn't run away. I didn't run back to my room. I didn't try to hide in the bathroom. I didn't try running in my car or whatever. I didn't try to hide from anyone. And then when you do that, you're teaching your brain that you're not afraid of of the panic attack. And then when you start having more panic attacks, um, your brain is going to like, your brain is going to know how to handle it better. By, by your brain knowing how to handle it, meaning that it won't send you to a panic mode. It will, you know, when you feel panicky outside, then you're gonna realize that hey, I had a panic attack and I was able to go outside. So why should I be scared this time? You know, so that's what I'm doing now. If I feel um, panicky, I'll go outside. I'm not gonna just sit in my bed. When you sit in your comfort of your own bed, you know, you can freak out even more. You might, you know, you have nowhere else to run because you you should feel safe in your room, but that's the problem. When you feel too safe, you don't want to leave that safe place, and you and then you're gonna realize, or you're gonna think, why am I still, um, why am I still panicking if I'm in my room? I should be more calm, but you know, you're freaking out more. It's because, because you have nowhere else to go to. You should be feeling safe at your house in your room. You know, so just go outside, even if it's your in your backyard, your front yard, you know, allow yourself to feel that sensation outside. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for today.